Mother of three children and a family friend during a court ordered custody visit with their father is raising a lot of questions about the potential danger of supervised visitations. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson spoke with professionals who work in the industry about what can and can't be done to protect the lives of everyone involved. You might assume this is a daycare or even a family living room. And that is what this Roseville office wants people to feel comfort and normalcy during a situation that is often anything but. A lot of the parents feel their rights have been violated, that they have to visit their children the way that they do. That's why the Office of Collaborative Supervised Visitation also comes with a safe room, more than one exit, and at times a guard. Just a few of the precautions Cynthia Voitas takes when supervising visits between parents and their children as ordered by local judges. No matter how nice the parent is, no matter how long I've known the parent, at any time that can change because we're dealing with their children. In light of Monday's murders that have the community still reeling, we have asked Voitas to give us an idea of how professional visitation protocols might differ from the less formal visitation that occurred at this Arden church. That's where the three Mora Gutierrez sisters had what records show was a court sanctioned visit with their father, supervised by a family friend. Voitas says her protocol is to start visits as a one on one with the parent. So we have the visiting parent come to the office and they arrive 15 minutes early and we assess them the best that we can, whether they're under the influence of anything, depressed, angry, and if any of those appear, we text the custodial and say, don't bring the children. There's not gonna be a visit today. She says she also sets up a secret signal with the children. And if at any time during a visit, they become upset or scared or just wanna talk about something, they give me that signal and the child and I go somewhere else away from the parent and talk about it. Unlike some professional visitation services, she also conducts them in public places like parks. Others have an office visit only policy and include security measures like metal detectors and armed guards. But that doesn't come cheap. Voitas says parents using professional services should expect to pay 50 to $120 an hour and sometimes will have to pay per child. Joe Nullett with the Supervised Visitation Network, a national group of professional providers, says cost should not be a barrier to families getting professional help. So there are communities across the United States where they value this service and they have funded these programs and they've made them either free or affordable. So our organization is working to educate communities, courts and legislators that this is really important. Voitas has no way of knowing how things took such a violent turn here in this Arden Sanctuary. But for any non-professionals lending a hand during supervised visitations, she reminds them never to let their guard down. Please, even if it's a sister or brother, anybody, just understand that this could happen. Advice that might have and might still save lives. In Sacramento, Carmen Dickerson, Fox 40 News.